in the mind of many people just by virtue of being Muslim and male. Uh, you are, if not a terrorist right now, you are fast on your way to becoming a terrorist. Um, so I think the, uh, the presumption of guilt is automatic in that case. And I think all of us, and I mean all of us, in our, in our own hearts and, and minds have to work very carefully to make sure that we are not making that leap. After being held for a year as a Category A prisoner in Britain's notorious Belmarsh prison, Fahad became the first United States citizen to be extradited from Britain to the U.S. on terrorism-related charges. In the United States, Fahad was placed in solitary confinement in the special housing units of the Metropolitan Correction Center in Manhattan, where he has been since June 2007. Right now, Fahad is under what are called special administrative measures. These are extraordinary measures meant to cut off a person in federal detention from basically any contact with the outside world. It's a, essentially a barbaric way of keeping human beings. Um, and to think that we're keeping people in a barbaric way right now uh, with all of what goes along with it and breaking down the human personality is something that should not be stood for. The fact that he has been in custody for almost two years is something that should simply be unacceptable uh, for any caring human being. It's certainly unacceptable from a legal and a moral and a political point of view. Fahad is 27 years old. I mean, he's a smart, interesting person, and he's being kept in a situation uh, to break a personality. The concern I have with this case against Fahad is that it, uh, if it goes forward in the manner in which I fear it may go forward, uh, we will be undoing the 20th century. And uh, I think that's something that um, all of us who care about civil rights and civil liberties in this country ought to be concerned about. Um, well, Fahad's case, as I said, is a very, very sympathetic case for anyone who chooses to examine it. So the first thing I would do, I would tell anybody, go to websites, put in his name, examine what you see here. Become familiar with the facts of the case. I think that's important. Um, number two, we should um, come to the court hearings when, when they begin. Number three, financially. Doctor, we can help in this way. We can come to court for this. We can raise our voices. We can ask for help. We can help the money. 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 We can help the money for this. इतना कर सकते हैं और सबसे ज़्यादा इसके लिए आकर के कोर्ट में आकर के आवाज़ उठाएं। They uh, in whatever capacity they want to help us, they come forward and, and they uh, I request them to come and to help us.